The truck driver sentenced to 110 years in prison for his role in a deadly 2019 crash could be getting a second chance. Tonight, his defense attorney says the case will be heard again on Monday, and the parties involved will decide on a hearing date to reconsider his sentence. This all happened after the DA filed a motion this afternoon requesting to expedite the hearing following national backlash regarding that lengthy sentence. News Nation's Felicia Bolton has the very latest on the case for us tonight. Yeah, this case is really stirring a lot up for a lot of people. Now millions of people are speaking out about this, Marnie. In fact, 4 million people in county signed a petition calling for a reduction to that prison sentence for the semi-truck driver behind that deadly 28-car pileup in Colorado. In fact, one of his jurors responsible for convicting him is now speaking out about the punishment and demanding the governor to step in. I'll cut my eyes open. In my eyes, that sentence is a hundredfold of what it should have been. Those are the words of one of the jurors in the Rogel Aguilera Modelos case. He's asked to remain anonymous for his own safety. The truck driver, Rogel Lazaro Aguilera Modelos, killed four people in an explosive crash on I-70 back in April of 2019. He was 23 at the time, and he claims his brakes failed, and that led to the crash. Court records show he had a clean driving record and no criminal history when he lost control of his truck. He passed all drug and alcohol tests, including a chemical test, but still he was convicted on vehicular homicide and 23 other charges. Last week, he was sentenced to 110 years in prison. There's just something wrong when laws are written to where a judge cannot intervene in some way. The way this is written is not right. Nationwide backlash resulting in more than 4.5 million people signing a change.org petition for commutation or clemency in the sentencing. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of the In October, jurors found him guilty on 27 counts for his role in crashing his big rig into stalled traffic. A horrible accident, but one in which the judge stated when it comes to sentencing, his hands were tied. It's all based on Colorado law, which requires a mandatory minimum sentencing in the case. But the juror says this means the law needs to be changed. I don't think the governor should sit there and offer him clemency and let him off. But to step in and sit there and say this would be a more, you know, suitable sentence for what the head happened. The attorney for Aguilera Mondernos says the process to shorting the truck driver sentencing is in the works, but it's up to the Colorado governor to change this sentencing. Normally a commutation of sentence, which would possibly be where we're going with this, it only occurs if someone has been serving a sentence and then the governor uh, is requested to reduce that sentence to allow them to leave prison. Normally, commutations don't happen until someone has served a much lengthier sentence. And just a few moments ago, we were able to confirm that the defense attorney as well as the family are planning to have a rally in honor of that man pushing the governor to make changes whenever it comes to this. Governor Jarrett Polis' office says he and his team review each clemency application. At last check, a spokesman says the governor welcomes an application from Modernos and will expedite consideration. Marnie, this is a really a big case. More than 5 million people are speaking out about it online. A unique, unique case, and Monday we should have word. Yep. All right, Felicia, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.